Today, I'm going to show you how to build four really cool different drones using logic parts available in Nimbatus. I'm going to show you how to build a self-leveling drone, autonomous digging machines that will drill to a planet's core, a drone that can fly around a planet, feel free to add weapons to this one, and last but not least, an auto-aiming turret that will allow your stationary weapons to hunt down enemies. If we want to build a drone that's going to be oriented in the same direction no matter which way you fly, top part's always top, bottom part's always bottom, that's something that we can build pretty easily. First thing we need to do is get the bones ready and make sure we got plenty of fuel and plenty of energy. The next thing you're going to want to do is add engines in all four directions and add a directional sensor as well. When you add your thrusters, make sure you put them in a way where they are distributed evenly so in that way no matter what side you're pressing on from the top, the bottom, the left or the right side, it's going to push the entire drone as if it's one big cube. The last thing you want to do is add two more stabilizing thrusters and what these are going to do is make sure that you stay oriented in the right way. Then that way the top is always the top, the bottom is always the bottom. The stabilizing thrusters are going to have their own input. So the thruster that's going to turn us right is going to be K and the thruster that's going to point us left is going to be J. So let's take a look at this drone on a test flight. If we go forward, we're going to be horizontal the entire way, and every time we get slightly off balance, the two stabilizing thrusters are going to kick in and make sure that we get oriented in the right direction. You can use a drone like this for all kinds of different things. Real quick, I'm just going to put a bunch of drills on the bottom and take it out for another test flight on the real world. As you can see here, we're going to stay straight and level the entire time. The only downside to these drills is they don't really go through enemies or transmitters very well, but that's alright. The next autonomous drone that I want to show you how to build is one that will drill to the center of a planet. This drone is perfect for any one of the planets that has a mission where you have to drill to the center of the planet. I'll show you how right now. The first piece we start with is a button, and that's going to be mapped to the letter W, because that is the button to go forward, at least for most people. So if you map that to the letter W, that's going to work and make this little drone go forward. Next, go ahead and add some fuel and some small thrusters. Next, go ahead and add a directional sensor and two turning thrusters. What you're going to want to do is map the inputs from the thrusters. Whichever thruster is going to turn this thing to the left, match that to the left input for the directional sensor. Match the input from the directional sensor turning right to the right thruster. Go ahead and add some weapons, and also don't forget to add on that energy. You don't want to forget that. If you want to, you can also map your weapons to the letter W, which is going to be constantly pressed with that button that you added earlier. Don't forget to add a decoupler so then that way this little drone can actually go on its own down to the surface of the planet. The coupler needs to be mapped to a button. It doesn't auto map to anything. I kind of wish it did, but that's all right. If you get the directional sensors engine thrusters backwards, it will actually correct itself to go up instead of down. Next, let's go ahead and build a drone that will follow the planet's terrain and actually go around the entire planet. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and add your forward thrusters. Next, you want to add two turning thrusters to be able to turn left and right. Add a directional sensor, which you can map A to turning left and D to turning right. Next, go ahead and add a distance sensor. Add some range to the sensor because you're going to need a little bit of distance from the planet's surface, especially if there's any mountains on it. And you can go ahead and map that to the letter P. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some thrusters that are going to push us down to the surface of the planet whenever this sensor is not engaged. And so what we're going to do is next add a logic sensor. Whenever the sensor, which is mapped to the letter P, is not engaged, that is going to go ahead and trigger the letter O with this NOT gate. The letter O is mapped to the two thrusters that are pointing us down towards the surface of the planet. Next, we're going to go ahead and add an IF logic part. And what this is going to do is if P is engaged, meaning the sensor is triggered for the ground, then W is going to engage, and that's going to send our drone flying forward around the planet. Double check that your top thruster is set to A and that your bottom thruster is set to D. If we check this out, once we hit the surface, 
we are gonna go forward and we're gonna fly straight and level. Play with that, add some weapons to it, go crazy. The last thing I wanna show you today is how to build an auto aiming turret. This works great for some of the different weapons that only point in one direction and they can't actually be controlled by your mouse. The first thing you wanna use is a mechanical part called a motorized hinge. You wanna go ahead and attach that motorized hinge to a logic splitter and what this is gonna do is make it so in that way if one of of your turret sensors senses an enemy, it's not going to turn all of the turrets. It's only going to turn the one that you're trying to use. I'll show you more here in just a second. Next add three distance sensors and make sure each is mapped to their own button and that they are all pointed in a slightly different direction. Make sure to double check the motorized hinge for the directioning, but it should be set to right is E and left is Q. You're going to want to make sure that your right distance sensor is set to the letter E and your left distance sensor is set to the letter Q. And what this is going to do is if you find an enemy towards the left side, it's going to turn the entire turret to the left. If you find an enemy on the right side, it's going to turn the entire turret to the right. Next, go ahead and add a stationary weapon to each of of those different sensors. Once you've done that, go ahead and match the weapon to its corresponding laser output. And by that, I mean the trigger for the left weapon should be Q and the trigger for the right weapon should be E. If we add more turrets, you're going to want that logic disconnect so then that way all of the sensors don't travel the same direction. So if we go ahead and test this out, you're going to see when we get close to the wall, the sensors on the right side are all going to flash green saying, hey, we see something and it's going to turn in the direction of whatever it sees. And I'm not going to lie, it took me a couple of minutes to figure out what the heck did I do wrong to make it so in that way my drone will not fire. I thought it had something to do with that logic disconnect. I thought it had something to do with the way that I put stuff. Uh, I just completely forgot to add energy to this thing. Let's go ahead and add energy and I'll show you what that looks like. As you'll see here, each individual turret on its motorized hinge will aim towards an enemy. It's kind of fun, just something different to mess around with. Is it super practical? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just more fun than it is anything else. If you enjoy watching videos about Nimbatis, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the description below and let me know so in that way I will keep making more videos. I'm having a total blast playing this game. Go ahead and check them out on the Kickstarter again down in the description below. And if you like what I do, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton and I really, really appreciate it. Again, my name is Aurelia and I hope to talk to you guys again soon.